Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's Steve. And today I'm going to teach you what my best settings are for when I'm streaming from OBS to YouTube. Now, there are thousands of videos about this online. And there's something that a lot of people never even mention. One is what upload speed you're working with. Like I'm doing this video for you. I need to know what your upload speed is. And number two, what are YouTube's preferred settings? Not a lot of people do this. They just basically set up their live stream so they can live stream and then they just tell you what they use. So I've been practicing for a while now with this. And I figured an easy way to explain this. So the first thing is you need to know what your upload speed is. So let me just go to the internet. Okay. So what you want to do is go to speedtest.net and all you have to do is hit go. And then it'll do its thing. First, it'll start with the download speed. So there it goes, going, dooby dooby doo, and after this will be the upload speed. So right now you could see my Wi-Fi upload speed is about 22 megabytes per second, and that's really good. Literally the day before yesterday, my upload speed was only 10, but I upgraded, so now I'm at 22. The reason this is a big deal is because they can tell you to set your bit rate for your stream at 9,000, but it won't necessarily work if you have a slower upload speed. So the second thing you have to look at is the YouTube settings that they suggest, right? So we'll go back to the internet. All you really have to Google is like, YouTube's preferred um, streaming settings. And I can put a link below and you'll get to this page here. YouTube literally tells you what they suggest for every type of streaming. So remember, I have 20 megabytes per second upload speed and I wanna stream in either 1080p at 30 or 1080p at 60. So we'll go to the first one, 1080p and this is 30 frames per second. So they suggest a bit rate between 3000 and 6000. So right now I have a 20 megabyte per second upload speed. A 6000 kilobyte per second bit rate is six megabytes. So it'll be using six of my 20 megabytes to upload. That still leaves me 14 megabytes free. So I'm good. I could stream at 1080p at 30 frames per second perfectly. If you are uploading at 10 megabytes per second, you probably could get away with 6,000, but I'd probably set it somewhere at like 5,000. So at least half is you know, dedicated to the upload and you still have half left. If you have 10 megabytes per second upload speed and you wanna stream at 1080p at 60, well, you technically can, but they suggest the high end to be 9,000. And I've tried, under 9,000, it's not great. So I wouldn't suggest streaming at 60 frames per second at 1080p if you only have 10 megabytes per second upload. You could try 720 at 60, and this one you only need about 6,000. So you might be able to put your bit rate at 5,000 and stream 720p at 60 frames per second. All of the information is here. You could check everything. You need to remember what your upload speed is. That will dictate how many frames per second you could shoot at and upload and stream and what resolution you could stream at as well. So now that I've talked about your upload speed, showed you how to find it, I showed you the website where you could see the bit rates that YouTube suggests. Now you just wanna be able to go into OBS and find these settings and that's easy. So let's go. Once you're in OBS, just go down here to settings in the bottom right-hand corner. Then on the left, go to your output. And the first tab in advanced is streaming. So what I have set up right now, I use the hardware encoder. This is the only encoder that I've got to work on my M1 Mac. The other ones 
Um, they drop frame rates. They drops, they skip frames due to encoding and they drop frames missed due to rendering. So I always use the Apple hardware encoder. I always want to stream at 1080 because I have a good upload speed. I set my bit rate to 9,000. This is because last night I was streaming at 60 frames per second. But remember, if I want to shoot and stream 1080p at 30, this right here only needs to be 6,000, and that's the max that YouTube suggests, so that's what I'll use. I don't limit the bit rate. Um, you might be able to, because sometimes when you go over, YouTube gives you a notification that you are over. So I've never tested it, um, but I leave it unchecked. My keyframe interval, I always keep it two, and my profile is usually baseline or main. To be honest, I don't know what that does, but I keep it either baseline or main, and I've never had a problem. Then I click OK, and now my settings are set. So I wanted to keep this really quick because I know there are a lot of great bloggers out there, much better than me. I'm pretty easy to pick something up when I'm you know, watching a video, and a lot of people aren't. So when you watch a video and they're telling you what the best settings are to live stream, some of them are literally telling you what the best settings are. They're not molding it around what you are working with. And this video is specifically for M1 Macs. I have an M1 Mac Mini. So what did I tell you? Refresher, number one, you have to know what your upload speed is. Go to speed test like I showed you, figure it out. If you're at 20 megabytes per second upload, then you're good with 1080p at 60 because YouTube says you should use 9,000 bit rate. And if you're at 1080p at 30, YouTube says you should use 6,000 bit rate. So you're really good there. If you're lower at your upload speed and you're only at around 10, like I was just a couple of days ago, I always kept my bit rate around 5,000, you know, 5,500, 4,500, somewhere around there. And I was never really able to stream at 60 frames per second. I was always set to about 30. Unless I wanted to stream at 720p, then I could go to uh, 60 frames per second. And then, like I showed you, just go into your settings and use what I use. And everything revolves around your upload speed. And that's pretty much it. So again, one, know your upload speed. Two, know what bit rate YouTube suggests. Three, set your OBS settings to that and you should be fine. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I hope this was easy. I really, really tried to make this video as easy as possible and keep it under 10 minutes and I think I'm there. So again, ask me any questions below. Like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace guys.